Grand Jeep has a legacy which I don't think you need an introduction to. The Jeep Compass is a very interesting machine. While it keeps with the DNA of the American brand, there is a good chance that this SUV will be priced under Rs 20 lakh, which can give even the higher and lower segment SUVs a run for their money. We finally got our hands on the Made in India Jeep Compass and we'll be testing it on-road and off-road to tell you how it goes. There is no mistaking it for anything other than a Jeep. The famous 7-slot grille that's been the Jeep signature from the 1940s can really turn heads. Thanks to the clamshell bonnet, rectangular headlamps and fog lights with chrome surroundings, the Compass has the handsome mini Grand Cherokee styling. Side profile is very unique with a chrome strip going all around the window line. It separates the contrasting black roof from the body and creates a floating roof effect. While the square wheel arches give it a muscular SUV look, integrated spoilers and LED tail lights add character to the rear. A choice of several bright paint colors is good to see and the Compass is undoubtedly the best looking SUV in its class. Everything on the inside is well appointed to complement the flamboyant exterior perfectly but the dashboard design is quite unusual for SUV standards. The chunky steering wheel with large Jeep logo is immediately likeable. A 7-inch touchscreen display for Jeep's Uconnect infotainment system supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also get an MID screen in between the dials that can display a large amount of driving information. The dual-tone dashboard is finished with soft-touch plastics and the gear lever knob with satin finish feels exceptionally premium. Seats are very comfortable, but the snow white leather is a dirt magnet and keeping it clean is going to be tough. Rear seat is comfortable for two passengers with ample knee room and headroom, but it's a squeeze for the third passenger. 408 liters of boot volume can be expanded to 1191 liters by folding the seat. Storage areas are sufficient, but there is no place to keep your mobile phone while connected to the car. Equipment list is quite extensive with six airbags, ABS, EBD, stability control, electronic parking brake and Jeep's trademark Selectorain all-wheel drive system. However, Jeep has omitted some of the key features like cruise control, sunroof, automatic headlights and rain sensing wipers. We drove the 2-litre multi-jet diesel engine that develops 173 PS of power and 350 Nm of torque. After an initial lag under 2000 RPM, the engine pulls gracefully all the way to 4500 RPM. While it's not outright quick, the strong pull at low revs is great for city driving and it can cruise between 120 and 140 km per hour comfortably. Despite the long throw, the 6-speed manual gearbox is a pleasure to use. Jeep will be offering a 1.4-litre multi-air petrol engine with a 6-speed manual and 6-speed automatic transmission at launch. There is no diesel automatic now, however, a 9-speed auto could be introduced by the end of the year. The Compass scores high on ride quality. Cabin is incredibly quiet and you also get a very smooth and comfortable ride irrespective of bumpy roads. Frequency sensitive damping suspension can adjust according to the road conditions and your driving style. Stability at high speeds and around sharp curves is impressive going by SUV standards thanks to the all-wheel drive system and the all-weather tires by Firestone. There's nothing to complain about the steering and brakes either and both inspire a lot of confidence. So that's how the Compass behaves on road but as we all know, Jeeps feel most at home off the road. So we have decided to take it off the tarmac and put it through some serious challenges on this beautiful jungle trail. The Select Terrain all-wheel drive system comes with four modes, auto, snow, sand and mud. In the auto mode, the power transfer is friend biased and the rear wheels join the party when the need arises. We switch to the mud mode to drive through the 3.5 km long off-road course. There is no low-range gearbox or locking differentials, but the optimized braking and traction control system ensured that the compass handled the slush wading, steep inclines and declines, river crossing and water fording without breaking a sweat. We also tested the sand mode briefly on the beach and the compass came out in flying colors. The only issue while off-roading was the approach angle and a lower lip on the front bumper keeps scraping on obstacles. However, made of flexible fiber, it won't break that easily. Overall, the Compass follows the classic Jeep recipe. It's quite capable off the road and everything from the exterior styling to ride quality and performance make it an impressive everyday companion. If you've been in the market for a long time but couldn't find that perfect SUV for you yet, then the Jeep Compass could be the SUV you've been looking for. Well, that brings us to the end of the review. But before we wind up, it would be interesting to note that the Jeep Compass is made in India not only for us but for all right-hand drive markets across the world. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel.